Hello everyone, Keisha Runner for Keisha Runner Games, and I am back today with another episode of Shelter War. As you can see, we still have our visitor out front of our shelter here. Um, we are going to discuss that and discuss the event and where we're at. I have a lot of things to cover, including a couple things that came up right after the last video. Um, leveling up here. As you can see, I have lots of items maxed out here. We're going to be talking about that. Where we're at in the shelter. Going to be talking about a new addition to our squad. Actually, I think there's two of them here since our last video and uh one other interesting thing i found on the map there's been a few things here and there that i've noticed as well that if i remember i will be bringing those up so let's just jump in it's just going to be kind of all over the place we're going to cover a lot of stuff this is the first video that i'm doing where i'm actually caught up i had recorded pre-recorded a bunch of them and started releasing them as you know as there was gaps in my release schedule and with the event now coming live and our events now in the game, it's it's a little bit more important for me to stay current so I can release material much quicker. So I went ahead and got all the videos I had saved up out and now I am caught up. So, all right, first things first, I am going to bring up something that I wasn't sure about and I'm sure um, some of you at first weren't, but destroy the drones. I've only done two of five, so we're gonna get three more of those, potentially all within this video, potentially after, we'll see. Uh, some people weren't sure what to do with this. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have figured it out by now. Um, but what you have to do, you have to actually go in and control control your people and you just kind of wander around and look for drones showing up. And usually this is one of the, it, they seem to occur it's really hard to control this on my emulator sorry we'll get there eventually um they they quite often show up in the similar rooms this is one where they show up occasionally i haven't seen them there today though um so they gotta back out pick a new level go up to the food i have seen them here multiple days my food is now full i have everything Ooh, there you go there's a drone right there you get close and you get this little fist up there and you shoot them so I've gotten three out of five now. I gotta get two more of those and then you get some more items for the event. Uh, I don't know how frequently they spawn. I usually go take an action, do something and come back. I did before try to like just continuously look and I never saw them. So I don't know if that was just coincidence or if I was looking in the wrong spot or not. But it seems like if I go away and come back in a little bit, then they come back again. So we'll go ahead and dive in there and do that again. But what happened almost immediately after I stopped recording the last video, uh, I finished leveling up to CC5 and Curiosa, actually it might even been before that, but it, I believe that she was released with the last event. So Curiosa ends up joining the squad here. I believe this is the equivalent of heroes of what we have in Hustle Castle or Officers in Zero City. And it's not quite yet in um, American Dad yet, but I'm sure it's coming soon. So what this is, uh, she's another fighter. You know, obviously we've been seeing her throughout the storyline, but she's another fighter who comes to fight for you. And you level her up as you fight, you level her up. And for me, I have her up to 14. I can max her out at 20 right now. And then I think at CC6, you can uh, upgrade her so she can max at 25. And basically, you doing fights and you get experience. And as her experience reaches a new level, she ends up powering up so all of her items get higher. And right now at CC5, you're limited in what you can do. It's basically you have this and that's it. But as you get further, you can start doing implants, which I have some of these, but I can't apply them yet until I'm CC6. And then we got upgrades and merging and lots of other stuff to do. And this is all future stuff. So this will be CC6 and beyond. And I'm not, sh I'm, I'm all ready to go, but I don't think I'm going to be rushing there. We'll talk about that uh, as we go throughout this video. But I think I'm going to be waiting and trying to stay here for a little bit. Because I don't even think, I don't know if there's a CC7. If anybody out there watching knows about that, let me know. Put a, uh, put a note in the comments. Um, or even... Another good idea is to go to the uh, QC Runner Discord. I got a link down below in the description. And we've only got a few of us right now discussing this game, but you know, the more people we can get in there and having discussions and um, getting the community going there, it's going to help us all grow and learn the game as well. So um, join the Discord server if you haven't, or, you know, again, just drop me a note in the comments if you know about, you know, if there's a CC7 or not. And by CC, I mean Control Center. Uh, I am going to go click on these throughout. I have, there's a new technician area, which technicians allow you to speed up your work. I have technicians down here. I have two of them right now, maxed out at level 25. So for Amanda, she gets 1.9% 1, 1. and Andrew gets 2.21. So with them, oh, we can get a better one here. Let's uh, equip that. So he goes from 1.1 to 1.25. So now his overall is 2.36. So that just, you know, makes things happen quicker. So I have them right down here where we're doing, these are not called spells in this room. These are called, what are these called? 
whatever these guys are called. You know, things you can use in a fight to, to make the fight uh, go in your favor a little bit more. So oh, let's go back here again real quick. So Kyrios is on the squad right now, and she gives me, you know, she's up front here, so she's not one of these people. And right now she's only, you know, in the back, but, you know, I'm assuming in the future we'll be able to put her somewhere else. But she is there, and then I also upgraded my area here, so I got another fighter. So we got five fighters, including Kyrios, out there doing, doing some damage. I'm going to, if we have time, this video might go kind of long. I'm going to kind of try to tweak my squad a little bit. Right now I have two in the front, one in the middle, two in the back, and it's not working out great. The, the people in the back just don't seem to deal damage quite as much as some of the other games, because especially early on, going right now and just having a person in the back just blast away is the way to go, and that's how you can get through a lot of people, and I'm not having a lot of success on that. So I don't know if I just don't have the right gear yet, or if it's just a little bit slower. So one of the things I'm going to experiment with is seeing if we can get an engineer doing some damage. I'm not a big engineer damage kind of person, but maybe this game is something you can do. So we'll be testing that as well. And then obviously we need to finish the event. So speaking of the event, no, nope, not yet. We'll, we'll do one more thing. We'll get to the event. So Curiosa, a new, a new edition here, and you, you know, you just play the game and do your dailies, whatever, and you start leveling her up, and she makes your squad stronger. And something else I noticed, which is different than all the other games that which I really like, is in, in general, when you finish a level, you're done. But it seems, I don't know if it's three behind or whatever, you see here I have green, so I'm on Thirsty Plains now. I blasted through Bastion of Purity, started going through Thirsty Plains, I'm kind of stuck right now. I'm not strong enough to get any further. And it's green, but you see here on the Runes of Outcast, we have a yellow. And I actually had yellow here, Desert of Skulls too, and it's nothing right now, it's, it's all gone. So you can actually play a second round through it as yellow. And I'm curious if there's gonna be a third round uh, as red, maybe when I get to Acid Sea, Desert Skulls will open up as a red. So the competition gets harder, you get bigger chests, you get better stuff. So I haven't opened a lot of the chests, I'm, I'm way behind as you saw, I have 99 plus. So I'm, I'm curious if there is a red, so again, in the comments or on the QC Runner Discord, let me know, is that a, a third level that comes through? Maybe it's going to be released later, I'm not sure. Um, but again, it allows you to, to get through these uh, more often to get more stuff, which is highly useful as well. So, And then we have these enemies here, and these are part of the event, which I was not sure about last time. So here's, here's the people I need to fight. I'm not strong enough. I think I've lost to both of them. And then for the event, you have these caps up here. You go and try to fight them, but... The problem I'm running into is I'm just not very strong. And I think this is an indication of my overall strength, which is nothing special. And why I can't make it very far in Doom Dome is because I'm just not very strong. I, I can get like one or two per day, and I certainly can't get more than that because they're way stronger than 24,000. You know, that, that number doesn't mean everything, but for the most part, given how weak I am, it is fairly important. And my goal, like I've said in other games, is to get stronger. So being a lower number, we'll, we'll try that one. Being a lower number gives you a chance to win some of these fights um, if you're more efficient. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in here. So we got to go through a series of four fights, and that's the thing that's been hurting me is the series of four fights. Now I get through two or three, and then I'm extremely weak, and then I can't uh, make it to the fourth. And what I have going right now for me is... Uh, like I said, you got two brawlers in the front. I got two tanks up front absorbing damage. I have an engineer in the middle. Where's my mouse? I got an engineer here in the middle, and she's doing reanimation, and that's been that's been highly useful. Um, in the other games, at this point, if you have somebody's reanimation, it's quite huge as far as much as it helps you, and it is helping for sure. But it's not it's not been a major game changer. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to call them spells because I'm not sure what they're called. See if we can't get through this fight first and we'll put the spells on the next one because we're looking like it probably won't be getting through the next level here. This is only number two and we got to get to the, ooh, and he's down ready. We're in trouble. He will reanimate and catch up, but um, it might be too late. Yeah, I tried this fight already. I lost. So we'll do this, which will allow us to do a little bit more damage. Hopefully our other tank will come in before they start uh, smashing him to bits. At least she reanimated him. Because she goes down, then we have no more reanimations left, and we still got another round to go through yet. So she's down. Yeah. Yeah, I just... I am not strong enough. And again, maybe Kyrgios is not doing enough damage back here. I had another um, person in the back. One in the front, one in the middle, and three in the back. And I also tried one in the front, two in the middle, and two in the back. And neither of those were working. So as you can see, it's just not strong enough for that. 
So we're gonna get some gear tonight. We're gonna go to the event. We'll go ahead and probably do that next. And obviously we'll get a little bit stronger because I'm gonna get through one of the paths. And one of my uh, Discord members said that he got through the entire event just by doing the dailies. And like I mentioned before, I can't do too much. I can't get through the dailies as much as you guys can because I don't have um, the game on iOS yet. It's only on Android, which is on my emulator. I only get to that once per day, more or less. Uh, occasionally more than once but mostly only once so I don't get through all the dailies quite as much plus some of these I can't like I said in Doom Dome I can't even make it very far so let's go ahead and get through the event here and see what we can get I think we're gonna get through one path and then a little bit and ooh, I forgot to mention I got a big uh, big news announcement to announce later in the in the video so make sure you stay tuned for that I will uh, try not to forget knowing me I might it's a big one I think it's a big one you guys will definitely enjoy it. So if I forget to um, bring it up, make sure you uh, ping me to uh, to bring that up. So, okay. So these are the the main things we need to look at for what path we're going to go on. So we got legendary type items here. I believe they're called legendary in this game. And so we got our sniper here in the back, which is a slow firing weapon, which I'm not a fan of. They do massive damage, which is good. Um, good crit, good dodge. And what do we have here? Increases crit damage. Okay, again, I like this one, Restore in the middle. I've been trying to do um, Resurrections and they're not as good. And the Restores were good, but you know, they kind of, over time, they fade away a little bit. So maybe here, having a better Restore is better. But I'm not sure. And then we have the Knives, which are really fast, which I do like a lot. But in the other games, this is not one of the more useful ones unless you're going to create like an assassin, which we could try in this game as well. Um, so only a 10% chance to cause bleeding, which deals a lot of damage over time. Reduces enemy armor, which is useful for sure. And there's only 14%. So these percentages are just really low. That is crazy. I think this is where I'm going to go, like I said before. So let's just start blasting through this, this right path. And then we'll see how many of these caps, is that they're called? How many caps we have left? And we'll get some more things. All right, so we're going to get buy coins bitcoins oh we gotta hit the purchase button down here okay we got gory coins someday that'll come in handy food crate someday that'll come in handy probably all right so now we can maybe i'm so low right now that uncommon is actually still useful for my squad so again i am very weak all right so we got engineer firing acid like i said i was going to try doing some testing with some engineers doing damage to see how they do so this could be one that we can test Okay, more buy coins. Are we calling them bitcoins? Maybe we'll call them bitcoins. It doesn't. Bitcoins. Rare nanites. So this is what's going to go on Curiosa, but it can't do that until we get to the next level. So that is not highly needed right now, but later we'll be able to use those. Rare armor. This will more than likely be useful no matter what it is. All right, another engineer again. When receiving damage, there's a 13% chance to increase energy damage. Yeah, okay, that's right. Good health, good engineering, level 25, so that's good. All right, equipment crate. This has got to be good, right? We, oh, it's only one rare, but it's another rare. So again, uh-oh, we're going to have to open that up later. Okay, epic belt, guaranteed to be useful. And a sniper, extra health, extra damage. Not much, actually. That's interesting. Only 96 extra damage, but, you know, it's still extra. More coins, we will take those. More nanites, we'll take those. What are we down to? 4,200, still got a lot of uh, caps left to spend. Ooh, an epic armor, this will be useful, of course. And another engineer, and that is quite unfortunate. Health and engineering, we're receiving 15% chance to increase energy damage. These are helpful, but it does seem to be that in this game, there's, you know, it's early on, so I can't really tell yet, but in all the other games, it kind of seems like right when you start, you get like a roll, and it's like, this is going to be your focus area for, for me, it looks like it's engineering. In some of my games, like in Hustle Cast, we have, I've had one account where I was like all the people in the back, so the, the, don't want to blank, the archers. So the majority of things I get are all archers, and I had some where it's the people in the middle, which are mages, so it's like almost all mages on other accounts. So here we're getting a lot of engineering items, so I'm wondering if this account is more catered toward engineering, so I'll be starting to get a lot of engineering stuff. Another epic coming in here. I'm going to have to go open those up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the big one. Now we've got the knives coming. Well, we know what this is already. You already showed it to us. Okay, so we spent them all. We got 1,200 left. So now the question is, obviously, this isn't going to happen. This isn't going to happen. I'm not going to spend any, unless there's some deal that comes up. I'm not going to be spending any 
coins to get more. So what's our best way to spend our next 1200? The events will go on for 15 hours, so it'll refresh. The dailies will refresh shortly, but I will not be online to do much, so maybe I'll get lucky. Um, plus the event looks like it goes on for three days after, so maybe you can watch commercials and still get a few more. So we might be able to get a little bit more after this, but nothing significant. So, all right, so those don't matter, these don't matter. I mean, they're good, but do I want to try to get to something bigger? Let's just count our way up. So we got 60, 9150, 395, 445, 545, 550, 650, 730, 740, 900 ish, good enough, 1030, 1175 to here. Okay, so that'll overspend us to here. So we can go to get coins. Oh, oh. there's an epic something in there. Where were we? Right here. So we can get an epic gadget. Might be useful maybe to stop right here and get that. Let's count real quick. 250, 860, 1080, 1480, too much. 1690. Yeah, that's way too expensive. We can't do that. All right, so I'm just going to go up the middle here. Take those badges, take the food. Maybe we'll use it one day. In the past, that was more useful, but now that I'm all maxed out, but when we're going to level up, that might come in handy again. Rare armor. See, hopefully not engineering this time. Predator uniform. Level 25 for a sniper. Nothing highly significant. Resource crate. Maybe one day. Equipment crate. A rare item. And the epic gadget we talked about. Oops, something for the sniper. I clicked it too quick. All right, so we got 255 left. It would be nice if I can just go over here and take this guy, but it's not going to let me. So I'm going to hold off on this just for the time being. And I can get up to here and have 110 left, or we'll restart at the bottom, which will give us 110, 275, which I'll probably get that before the video is over. Yeah, so I'll hold off for the last couple and see. All right, so I would have liked to. I'm gonna go through look for another uh, another thing in here. Um, I would have liked to have gotten more, of course, but for the first event and me not playing tons, getting some of these items are highly useful for sure. And I'm I'm happy for any of them. Ooh, there we go. There's number four. Happy for anything I can get. So, and by the time the next event comes along. Once you start hearing it coming, maybe I'll upgrade to the next CC level because one of the items that are different, this is the other thing I was going to talk about. In all the other games, the gear you get is based on your highest level fighter. So in our last video, my highest level fighter was a 20, even though it's at CC5, which has a max fighter level of 25. Everybody I was looking at and all the gear I was getting in the chest were you know, level 75. So I couldn't actually use any of the gear I was getting until I built these places to allow me to train and train the people up to the top level and I can start using them. So that's one difference in this game than the other games where, you, and then your competitors too that you're fighting in the Doom Dome and everywhere else is not based on your highest level fighter, it's based on your control center level. And it takes you a while once you get to that next control center until you can move your way up. So given that, it seems to make more sense to kind of maximize your squad strength before going up. Because right now, like, I can only win a couple fights in Doom Dome. I go up to the next level, it's just going to be worse right away immediately. So if I can start getting my people off there with better gear, which we just got some, and, you know, do the Doom Dome, buy some stuff in the Doom Dome, that means once I get to the next level, I won't be quite as underpowered and I can hold my own a little bit, hopefully. That's kind of what I'm hoping. I'll have to do some experimenting here with some different setups. So Helen is one of our big damage dealers. What is this? Engineering. Okay. Never mind. I do want to come back and look at you in a minute. There we go. So here's our big, he's not even our big brawler anymore. He was, but I put a different brawler in there. Him, he's our big brawler right now. So I'm going to give this to him. His damage is 271. What is that? Armor and dodge. Okay. So we'll give him these. These will be good for sure. Big, big change to his numbers. Nothing else is improved, it looks like. We could we could do some com compar comparisons to stats to see what would help, and that will be something I'll be doing at some point. This video is going to go on long enough as it is, so I won't do that right now. 
All right, so this is another brawler. So let's look in the back here. We got Angela. I think we got some gear for her. Interesting that it's not showing me it's best to use. So health up significantly, 900. Damage, 158. Oh, what? That's why it's not showing me. Sniper, what's that all about? 27, much better health. Slightly better damage. Plus we start to have a chance at something else. We'll go ahead and equip that one. Again, it's not giving me the, this is the best. So we're gonna have to go through and look at a few of these to see if something else is better. Usually it tells you, but I'm not seeing it. These are all the same. Okay, so for her, I guess, oh, here we go. Here's some more. So up five levels, an extra 200 health, an extra 23 damage. Take it. That is her thing. She needs more damage. We got a chronograph, which gives us 200 more dodge. So this is one of the ones in the other games where her main purpose is to do... I'm going to test it out right here. Her main purpose is to do damage and that's you know damage is a guaranteed stat crit is a not a guaranteed stat it's a chance stat dodge is a chance stat so putting something that's not guaranteed is not necessarily going to help her so i'm going to just test out this theory here in this game so we're not going to equip that for now we'll see if it works we'll do some testing and if it it's all i mean all those other games are based on your historical high power so this number up here is your high power and i'm leveling everybody up with all this new gear so i'm shooting to a new high so i want to shoot to a high that's not as high as possible and see if i can be a little bit more efficient in my power and be stronger against the enemies i'm fighting against and if i'm not then i can obviously move up and put the best of the best on but now's the time to do it because i'm raising my power anyway so this way i'm not going to over raise it too much and let's go look at Helen because Helen certainly can be improved so we got epic gear so we got an extra 700 in health energy armor which she didn't have and an extra 150 in engineering has a 15 percent chance to increase damage given what I'm going to test out that might be okay and this one here is also good but not as good this is a restore so do i try this and do the restore or do i do like i was gonna mention and try to do damage there was an item got a better reanimation now it looks like that's good slightly what is this this is one we just got so this 11 percent chance to shoot an acid shot which deals 113 percent damage to all enemies in an area uh damage is 391 let's go put that on real quick what's her damage right now it's 323 that puts her damage up to 550 let's compare her to some of these others here so he's only doing 291 but that's not his point she's doing 481 so our, our girl in the middle is doing more than our snipers in the back 550 yeah this is this is what i want to test out this isn't even the best gear so she's going to be doing damage that means if my guys are done they don't get revived but it wasn't a super revive anyway so i think i'm okay with that all right so no other official best gear except for this one health and energy damage so this time i do an energy damage um this would be one i'd normally not apply because i don't want i don't want the extra power that energy damage is going to give me but since I'm actually trying to have her do damage, I'm okay with putting that one on. And what is this? This gives us extra engineering, which allows us to do more damage. Oh, actually, it's not a percentage. Oh, that's unfortunate. And here we got more engineering as well. And dodge, again, not a guaranteed stat, which is not helpful. But, and this is best gear. Yeah, okay, we'll come back. So let's test that out. Let's see where we were. We started at like, what, 20,000? Now we're for 23. So an extra 3,000 in power which might allow us to come into this map now that I think about it and be a little bit more effective. 21,000. Let's go fight that first one here with, was it this one with 18,000? We couldn't beat, oh, he's 24. Are you stronger now or am I looking in the wrong spot? 27, 19, 25. There was an 18 somewhere. It's this guy. All right, let's, let's try this fight again. And don't have the boosters. 
I call them spells before, apparently they're called boosters. But the goal here is to see if we can be a little stronger without those. So one other option I could consider here is we have our one in the middle just doing massive damage, hopefully, is what the goal is for her. Um, maybe only have one brawler up front and I can have another engineer in the middle either doing restores or a reanimation because our brawlers are going to be done. Once our brawlers are done, we're, we're done. Um, so we're certainly not going to get through four levels this way. What I really want is for them to add stats. All the other games, you can review your stats at the end of the fight. That, you know, that makes this process of me trying to figure things out a whole lot easier. So without that reanimation, you know, we're, we're doing some good damage. You can see some really good numbers popping up in there, but we're certainly not going to get through all four waves yet. Because once our brawler goes down, we are in big trouble. We might get to the fourth level at least, but we will certainly not clear the fourth level. There we go. Okay, well, it's an improvement for sure. These guys are just going to tear us up, I bet. Let's see. They started with 12,000 health. We started with 72. The dogs are doing their thing here. Curiosa is just not strong enough yet. So we're putting up a fight. So if I used a couple of my, um, not spells, but whatever they're called, we might have had a chance to win that one. And she doesn't fire off enough. Yeah, I think what I'm going to try to do... See how bad of an idea this is. Take away one of my brawlers. Since they're not really doing what they're... You know, their goal is to live. So I need to make them live as long as possible. We'll keep the one who's got the new daggers. So we're going to keep you, Scott. And we're going to change Gerald to an engineer. With a big restore on Quip. Equip. And what is this one? We could do this too. What should do? Let's, I'm going to equip this real quick first, just to see what it looks like, and then I'll probably switch accordingly. What number was that? It's only a level 14. That's not very strong. Okay. Anyway, that wasn't the point. The point was to revisit a couple of these other guys down here at the bottom. Engineering goes up. Absolutely. We need that. This is health, physical armor, health, and energy damage. Since we might do that, we'll see. For time being, I'll put that one on. And what about this walkie talkie thing at the bottom? I'm going to unequip that health and dodge. It's not very good anyway. So. so now we'll compare our weapon to this one. Energy damage is down. Fine. Engineering is about the same. Yeah, I'm going to stick with this one here and just see what happens. So, n again, this isn't going to help our tank live longer, which I think is going to come back and haunt us. So, I do apologize for those who are looking for a shorter video. This one's going to go on a little bit longer because I still got a couple more things to talk about, including the uh, little surprise I was, you know, I'll talk about that while we're in this fight here. So for those that follow my other videos, you know that I have uh, giveaways that we do. We have weekly giveaways and the the quantity in the giveaways is dependent on the game that we're following or we're, uh, we're covering. And there's been a couple asking if we can get giveaways here. Oh man, we are in big trouble. Yeah, this is not gonna work at all. I, I don't think I have the best gear in him yet anyway. So um, yeah, so you know, people are asking for giveaways here and I've been doing some doing some investigations on that and it, it is looking like we will be having giveaways coming to this channel i'm not sure how soon and uh it will be different because right now i have weekly giveaways on all the channels this one will start off as a monthly giveaway and it will likely change over time as long as we keep covering it up to weekly giveaways but that'll be several months down the road so as long as we continue to have people watching and participating and doing doing the giveaways we will continue to grow and then get better better and more items to give away and by items i mean the 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 coins the bitcoins the buy coins whatever we're calling them all right so this test is we got to the last one again so that was good but i don't think these three ladies are gonna take us all the way through the end of this fight 
because once we get to the back here, they're not doing enough damage to last very long. All right, so I will take this off camera and I will do some more testing here because I think there is something. It might be that restore. We'll see. Maybe that restore will get me what I'm looking for. Oh, look at that. We're down to our last fighter. We are really close. That was only a couple shots away. Yeah. So is energy damage really the way to go or is it uh, just the one energy damage is good and then the restore for my tank up front? I think that might be what I need to do. I'm actually going to make that change right this moment. We're going to put this one on you. Equip it. And see, that raised his, his power by 300. So do I want his power up by 300? I'm not sure. Because I don't, I mean, this is the weapon I think I want to use. So I think I'm okay with it. But it's just, you know, I, again, I don't know if this is relevant to this game, but all the other games it is. So once you raise that power, you go into battle, that's now your new high. So if I take that off and I'm going with the other one, that means my power is going to be 300 higher than what I am used to running. So that might not be helpful to me. All right, let's go into Doom Dome with this setup. Let's do a run. So I went through the first wave already, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I finished the first wave. Now we're on the second wave. And I have not been very strong. I've been able to get very far now that I'm my power is higher and I think I'm more effective. So I might make it better now in Doom Dome. And the goal here, I think, longer short-term goal is to be able to do the Doom Dome more often, make it further, get the coin, get the winning awards you get, which are coins, whatever they're called, and use those to get better gear and just stay at CC4 here for a while. And uh, well, that didn't allow our tank to live much longer. So maybe having the energy damage instead is better here. But we got through this fight with the win. So um, so here we go. We got 10 experience. This is for our Curios, so getting stronger. Here's our event items. This is what's going to help us buy better gear. And that's just for a leaderboard that we're never going to get on. So I am figuring out this game. You know, I've been focusing on a little bit more. Again, like I said, it'll be better once I can get it on my phone. Um, no hurry on that. You know, it's a brand new game. It's going to continue to improve and evolve over time. And... The beta is going out. I haven't heard any updates on it, but the beta has improved, um, gone out to more countries. So it seems like things are getting better. Uh, so we will, you know, let's over here. Let's look for our last clone or uh, uh, whatever it's called, drone. It was here last time. Can it be here again? We'll see. No. Go up to our food level here. Occasionally, we're here. Oh, there it is right there. Boom. Nice. And 505. So we get our daily there. That's about all the dailies I can manage to get. But it gives us an extra 80 here, which allows us to get more event items. Come on. There we go. Back out a little bit. Continue to work on our technicians up to 15 now. What else do we have? Eight minutes and three minutes. Okay. Doom Dome. Let's do another Doom Dome here. When I when I started out the very first time, I got a little bit. I think I got through the first two levels, but I've been struggling. I've been getting maybe through the first levels as far as I've been getting lately with my squad. So let's see this new setup. Maybe it's going to help me be a little bit stronger and make it a few more rounds. Obviously, our, our total health is higher, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything to us. So we're not getting a lot of restores triggering on there. So I don't know if we're being limited or what. So I think before I do the next one, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and we won that. No, I wouldn't say easily, but it was not, it's not as dominating as I would like it to be. So we can get, you know, like three more rounds further. So I'm going to go ahead and put that other damage uh, gear on him. Engineer doing damage. And what was this one? This is the one we had, right? 8% chance to do the electric bolt. So we're currently doing the flamethrower, which is moderate, moderate. Oh, this is better. This is way better. Significantly more damage. So he's doing 433 damage. She's doing 481. 560 for her very good let's go look at our tank again real quick to see if 
some of the better gear was on the other guy. Anything to help us out here? You're not saying it is. What about armor? Here's a rare. Lower health. Obviously, we want bigger health here. Health and armor is what we're looking for, and our green is the best we have. So obviously, I got a lot of chests here to open. This is kind of a problem I have in all my games. I get this stuff, and I just don't open it. So whether through dailies or doing other items, I got a lot of things to open here. Um, not going to take up this video doing that for sure. Some of them I'm going to be holding on to later for sure. All right, what else did we talk about? We talked about the giveaway. We talked about the event. We got our items on the event. We talked about Curiosa coming on our squad and being able to run through the PVE map multiple times, which is exciting. Looking for that third one. And I think that was the main stuff I was going to be covering. And again, stay tuned to either future videos or... Yeah, we might be in big trouble here. Oh, maybe not. Uh, future videos and also if you're on the discord server i'll be announcing there when i get more details on the giveaways um like i said they'll start off monthly and then uh th there's no guarantees this is just it's it's certainly a possibility we'll be doing this so all right we need to come up with something else still not strong enough um, but those will be coming and uh, if you know other players that are playing or anybody else that is involved in this game or we don't have clans here yet so you can't share it with your clans but anybody else you know share spread the word let them know about you know me covering the games here let them know about the qc runner discord server and we'll you know start building up a population here so we can discuss the game and improve the game and uh learn together because it is fairly new for everybody obviously so how can we make our tank last longer? We got through two, which is fantastic. But, and where are you at, Curiosa? She needs 70 more to get to the next level. Long way to go. Um, I think I'm going to wrap it up. This video has gone on very long. Let me look. 36 minutes. That's not so bad. My, my videos these days seem to be 20 to 30. Seems to be about the fairly uh, standard number I've been going to. Um, so I got a little bit more time. Get a few more coins to earn. We got 15 more hours, so the event's over. Be able to get a few more and i'll go ahead and buy so it looks like you know if we click on here not there i guess when you first turn the game on it tells you you know there's three more days to go i was trying to find that screen again i don't see it anywhere but it says three more days plus the 15 hours till the event's over so i think that's just to give you three days to go ahead and purchase more coins if you want to buy the buy and finish the event which it does seem to be easy enough to do that so if, if i was able to grind a little bit harder or was able to get a few more coins you know we could potentially consider making that purchase so six thousand for 30 i mean that's a lot of coins here six thousand would get us another level and a half which would put us really close and then we could get all of that goodness plus those guys this would be what would really help us there in the middle and then we could get this uh artifact which oops sorry just hit the microphone which allows us to deal extra damage or allows us to do extra speed or slow speed or you know all kinds of good stuff. That would be highly helpful if we could get to that, but obviously highly unlikely to happen. Which that reminds me, let's go look in the Doom store here and see if you can buy artifacts. It might be when I get to CC6, but in Hustle Castle and all the other ones, you can actually buy lower level artifacts. New wave coming, that's nice. Uh, let's see we don't have any artifacts we just have armor at the crate so we got 2400 coins this doom crate gives us epics and rares you know getting some of these will be useful and you know I, like i said i think i might do it especially if i can start getting a little bit further and we can start cranking these guys out and start building some strength here you know maybe the trick is to buy a couple of these smaller ones or i don't know i don't know i'm gonna compare one of the maybe buy one of these engineer we already have good epic engineer so maybe that's not the one that's good though increasing engineering plus huge health or this guy doing oh this is also engineer okay so we have a second level engineer doing lots of damage 18 percent, 20 percent to launch a powerful stream of fire that deals 81 to 94 percent weapon damage to all affected enemies over four seconds that's helpful the burning enemy receives 689 to 792 oh, man that is like some big time damage here so that is 
something I am interested in. Again, because it's looking like our middle is doing some good damage here. So I really got to compare what this is because she's got something good already. But it's only uncommon, obviously. I mean, this is good. She focuses on snipers, nice. Um, yeah, energy damage, 391 to 459. I don't remember what this one was. Nice, so an extra 150 damage-ish to 170. That would highly, be highly useful, obviously, so. I don't know, I have uh, I got some time, I got three days until it refreshes to think about that one and hopefully earn a few more in the next few days as well. So uh, let's do one more battle here and see if we can get through the next level of the, of the Doom Dome here and then we will wrap it up. Again, if we could uh, get stats, hopefully that's something that's coming. I haven't seen uh, a release schedule on you know, when things are coming or what the plan is, but Ooh, there we go. We've got resurrection. Let's see if that's going to help. Oh, we're doing pretty good here. That other weapon's been pretty useful. Um, being able to go back and revisit stats of a battle. To see, ooh, we are actually not doing quite as well as I thought we were. That was closer than I expected. Um, you know, then you can start tweaking some things. And you know, there's thing when things happen as a chance. There's not guarantees. You don't know unless you repeatedly test, but you can start getting an idea over time what's working and what's not working, and then you can start tweaking your squad a lot easier. So hopefully that is something that's coming. I mean, you can get an idea by watching the fights, but there's so many numbers coming up, it's really hard to figure everything out. Uh, I'm gonna do one more. So how many of these tokens are we getting for winning? We got 18 for that last one. So not tons, and it certainly takes time. And if I start using those boosts, obviously that will help me potentially get another level or two. Um, we'll see. All right, so we got a one, one, three here. Okay, it's good. Now we got the three snipers in the back, and we're looking pretty good. So that energy damage is. Uh, I'm a big fan of that energy damage. That has been uh, highly useful. You know, potentially this will help me get through uh, some of the uh, PVE map that I was struggling with as well. You know what, you guys, have, for those of you sticking around, you're stuck around this long, what's one more fight, right? I don't think I've ever cleared three, three waves. 19,000. Obviously don't know what he's running. I guess this tells me what he's running. Okay, I didn't see that before. So that would be two tanks and three snipers. Is that what that's telling me? That's interesting. Okay. So it gives you a general idea of how to approach the fight, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Two tanks and three, uh, three snipers. So we got the mass damage coming from our engineers okay got them done that's helpful so that's helpful when that happens because then we, ooh, that was a double kill that hurt Ooh, wow Ooh, it's gonna be close it's gonna be really close who gets the first shot off he did oh we got it one shot away from being done yeah they had a double kill on that one we were doing pretty good until that happened but hey we got through three three levels first time i think that's done except for maybe the very beginning i might have done it once very cool. All right, so I am going to wrap it up. I'm going to keep uh, keep tweaking because we'll uh, let me just show you what I'll be facing. We had a big increase there, so I can imagine this would be even significantly bigger. New wave, twenty thousand total number wise. It's reasonable. So two, two, and one, two, one, and two. Sorry, um, two, one, and two. Oh, this guy's only got four. So what is he missing? Got to be a Curiosa in there, but only a four-man squad. I don't know if that's good or bad, if he's going to be that much stronger or if we have a chance. Um, I'll give him a shot and see how far I can get. But, you know, like I said, this video has gone long enough, so we'll wrap up the video here. Uh, let me know if you guys are still around, uh, how you did in the event. What have you gotten? What did you not get? Did you get all the items? Obviously, you got a few more days to buy if, if you were interested and have enough coins for it or if you're going to buy coins. Um, 
but yeah keep an eye out for the uh, giveaways those will be coming soon and i certainly will be sticking with this game because it is fun there's a lot of different things and they're constantly working on the bug fixes and stuff like that so um let me know what you guys think do you uh, still enjoy it are you having fun with it and uh any strategy or tips that you've noticed that i haven't covered here in the videos up to this point so let me know in the comments that way everybody can start sharing and we can all we can all grow together so let's wrap it up here and uh get back on the next one so this has been qc runner for qc runner games and i will talk to you next time see ya